G'day, I'm Ash. I was streaming the other day, and I thought, huh, what is possibly the most expensive lineup that I could possibly put together? Now, I've done a video on what would 93 or 94,000 golden birds get you uh, in War Thunder. That video did rather well, so I thought following that success, let's try and make the at least the most expensive lineup out there. Now, there are other videos saying this vehicle costs you know, $600 or this vehicle is this and that and, and whatever, but I have to admit, no one's really done a full lineup video where they just talk about the cost of in each individual vehicle and then they basically presented it in a format to say, hey, listen, this is possibly the most broken thing that I have in my account. Now, I'm not flexing at all. Some of these vehicles are event vehicles. Some of them are premium. Some of them are bundle vehicles. As you can see, there are 10 vehicles down the, down the bottom of there. Welcome to my German 4.3 lineup. And I couldn't think of any other better place uh, to showcase this, but in the Minecraft hangar. I'll bring this out it's purely for just stupid reasons. This is another one of those stupid reasons. Starting off with the aircraft, we have the Junkers 388J. This vehicle is a heavy fighter. It's armed with basically an off-center pod, which aims down a bit. So when you're aiming at aircraft, you really have to, I guess, shoot higher than expected. It's supposed to be a night fighter, right? This thing's supposed to take out British Lancasters and other American bombers as well. It's got Schrager music, so, you know, you've got the 220s just sitting behind there, which is okay, I guess. Because this thing gets an attacker spawn, it's really kind of limited to what it can do. The radar's useful, but in again, in air ra realistic battles, you're not really gonna use the radar functionality of the vehicle. On the marketplace, this thing is selling for 310 uh, gosh, which is about 300 US. So we'll add that to the tally. Just keep in mind that this vehicle, yep, is $300 despite it being fuck all useless. So not many people see this vehicle. Not many people fly it. I seem to be the only one uh, as of recent. The last thing to mention about this vehicle is it was introduced in update 1.87, locked on during the Battlefield Engineer event, which was the Buildathon uh, event. And as such, not many people have this aircraft, and it's currently one of the rarest vehicles only obtainable through the Gaussian marketplace. This is introduced in update 1.43 and represents a version serving the Romanian Air Force. Battle rating of 4.3. It's got 20 mil, you know, a, a bomb underneath and two 7.92 millimeter machine guns. But it's a bundle aircraft, basically 109 G2, and assume that it has exactly the same price because these have exactly the same modifications. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to why uh, this thing doesn't necessarily exist anymore, but that's okay. So 4,600 GG for a fighter on my liner. Right, that's all my aircraft. Moving on to some of the first of the tanks, German ground vehicles. Starting off the KV-2 754R. Now, who doesn't love a KV-2? You know, big old 152 millimeter gun, howitzer, you know, firing and just watching people detonate. There's nothing more pleasurable in this world than, you know, watching other people suffer because you've shot them once with high explosive. Uh, <laughs> it's got a 7.62 millimeter machine gun. It doesn't mean diddly squat, but hey, it's there. And I really quite like this vehicle. It's different. And when I'm different in a good way, because it's not like a regular KV-2, because most of the KV-2s are battle rating 4 now, not uh, 3.0 or 3.7 as it says up there. It doesn't get anything particularly interesting. It's just KV-2 with German optics and a basket at the rear. They haven't really changed anything else, which in itself is quite interesting. But hey, this thing came out quite a long time ago. It originally costed 2,980 GE, but has since been reduced to 1,750. So I've taken it at its current market price, which is 1,750. And that is that. So this thing's a ball of fun. Pack Puma, the SDKFZ 234-4. Insert the clip of Mike pronouncing this thing correctly. Vera Panzer Spielwagen 7,5 cm Sonderkraftfahrzeug 234 4 Panzerabwehrkanonwagen. And you might be asking yourselves, why not give it a go yourself? Uh, Sonderkraftfahrzeug something something. Uh, 34 hundreds i don't know look i i did a better version a long time ago but suffice to say this vehicle is a 75 millimeter armored car and it is basically a glass cannon i put a pink bush in mine because why not there's a sturmgewehr on the side and that's basically it essentially you get a machine gun on the top uh, and it's a rank 3 but only 4.0 this thing is incredibly fast incredibly lethal can penetrate most tanks it basically is a flank and spank kind of vehicle if you can call it that and I love this machine. Absolutely love it. And its current cost on the marketplace, I need to double check this. 
because this is just this is just ridiculous the pack premium's current price is 1337 someone has changed the price literally overnight but i went by the actual listing which was there which was 1499 so 1500 gaussian coin rounded up essentially what you're getting is a glass cannon vehicle so that is a lot of golden eagles i guess it complements this lineup well because the next vehicle in the lineup is basically a, a, a panzer kampf wagen churchill Break three battery in 4.3 with a 57 six pounder this thing is basically a churchill the gun is fantastic this thing is quite lethal in the right hands i love this machine because it can just go across terrain and just not really care about getting shot at but in and itself is a fantastic vehicle that nobody really has and its purchase price is 1750 golden birds the next vehicle in my lineup is possibly one of the rarest vehicles and most sought after this is herman the german sherman also known as the m4748a originally given out as a part of the pre-order bonus for german ground forces this is technically the first sherman that had ever existed in warthorn and for the longest time before american forces this was the only american vehicle in the game there are about probably about 3,000 of these maybe 4,000 of these out in the wild out of a player base of average about 200,000 that yeah you're not looking at a great deal of these to be seen it was given away last year in 2020 as part of the German re re reunification day, Christ almighty, and it sold for 60 US dollars, which is actually higher than its original price point, which sold initially for about 30 US dollars. And when they brought it back, because it was such a sought after vehicle, uh, essentially, yeah, they sold them for 60 US. So they only sold a limited number, which was 2020 of them to celebrate the year. And well, they all sold out in about 10 and a half hours. I managed to snag this one. Uh, so I'm going to list this one as 60 US dollars worth of Golden Eagles. Possibly one of my favorite dirt gun vehicles in the game. This is the Broom Bear. Well, it's got 150 mil. Based on a Stug chassis that's been upgraded slightly. This upper casemate here, which has got the Zimmer anti-mine coating on it. This is an engineering slash demolition vehicle. It's got the side skirts on the side as well. And it's obviously got the, the spare rollers on the back quite a fun machine i must say rank 3 battering 4.3 basically shoot anything 150 mil though with 38 rounds yeah the armor is not exactly the greatest but you do have access to a heater a shell which has 185 millimeters of penetration if you come up against things but anyway you just fire high explosive because the high the tnt equivalent is 8.6 kilograms this thing was introduced in update 1.61 road to glory and well it's similar to the kv2 uh, and, and it has decent-ish armor and is fairly more mobile than the KV-2. Suffice to say that this thing, well, it's 2,980 golden birds. The KV-1B, the Finnish KV-1B to be exact, is an up-armored version of the KV-1. Essentially what you get here is a 76mm gun with your average 7.62, but lots of extra armor all the way around. They've put plates on top of plates. So as you can see, there's, this is the base part of the uh, vehicle right here. This is sort of the turret face. And you've got the KV-1E upgrades. And then you've got the finish uh, extra upgrades as well. This thing is double armored all the way around and it's got extra armor everywhere, which makes it a potentially very very useful vehicle 75 on the side and then an extra 30 all the way around yeah this machine is an utter beast and it's got 90 millimeters on the front and you've got you know 75 millimeters and only 30 on the side here but there is an extra 75 behind it this is a potential weak spot here really if you want to penetrate this vehicle go there but this thing is an absolute monster and it is a bundle gift vehicle only obtainable on the marketplace was introduced in update 1.41 and is the second rarest tank according to uh the wikipedia next to the e100 and the first time it was attainable was during a msi products event in russia in 2015 and then there was also an event called the summertime madness which had this vehicle to be obtained as a prize and the vehicle has been you know subject to other events such as the war thunder 100 de uh, team deathmatch and has obviously been available in the war bond uh, shop for the fourth the fifth and the sixth war thunder anniversary aside from that you can get it in a, 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 a basically a rare chance in a box and that's about it now its current market pl pr price listing is just absurd 
which is not really absurd it's currently listed at 84 Gaussian coins so I do love myself a Panzer IV and this is any uh, old Panzer IV this is the command version the Panzer of Fehlsfag and Fear yay rank 3 but running 4.0 you've got a 75mm gun uh, and a 7.62 you've also got three antennas sticking out the top of this vehicle essentially this was a command vehicle you had one to headquarters one for aircraft and you have one for other tanks and it was provisions for more internal space and we'll look at the x-ray there should be more of a radio space around the back of the turret to compensate for this they did up armor it slightly but other than that it is missing its hydraulic sort of turret and its turret traverse rate is something that i don't really like about this vehicle but it is at current price 1750 golden birds and yeah um, update 1.43 was a long time ago it's a panzer 4 and i don't quite like panzer fours continuing on the train with panzer fours we have the panzer 470a i believe this thing's nickname is fat max because it's obviously bigger than a regular panzer 4 uh, and it's not quite like the same as a jager panzer 4 but it has the pack 42 cannon which is longer uh 75 with 60 rounds of ammunition rank 3 buttering 4.3 basically nothing about this vehicle aside from that it's got incredibly tall uh vehicular structure mounted on a stug chassis what you have is a vehicle which is very com uh, very competent at least when you're facing something has decent ish armor with 80 millimeters on the on the front and it is slightly sloped as well but the biggest weak spot is the driver's port right here which is the big flat bit of steel and well that's kind of a bit of its weak spot right there just trying to look up the price as we're going along here this is 2980 golden birds and was introduced in update 1.41 and it was also uh, later removed from the store but reintroduced for war thunder 6th anniversary as a premium purchasable for 3850 golden birds but its current price right now is 2980 so with that we've gone through all of the vehicles here there should be 10 in total we have a lot of math to go and do i'm going to convert this all into us dollars i'm going to give you the total golden birds amount as well and then we'll come back so let me go run the numbers for you all right you want to know what the grand total in golden eagles at current market price for this whole entire vehicle lineup is it is 261,000 golden eagles 261,000 golden eagles 3954 US dollars to obtain this whole entire lineup that's excluding the crew cost that is also excluding extra the crew slots at the end there and we're not even talking about actually like acing the crew out either holy just what am I going to do <laughs> I got I've essentially got 4000 US dollars worth just sitting here at 4.3 ridiculous and really because of three vehicles uh this one particularly being at 1500 this one at uh 310 and then last but not least we have uh the kv1b being at about 89 to 90. this is far more accessible and probably far more worth your money than than one of these but the market price for these particular vehicles is utterly ridiculous so I have no idea what to do with that information i can tell you this without these three vehicles so let's let's put those to hanger uh just to give you a bit of an example this current lineup without the marketplace vehicles that is thirty-eight thousand uh golden birds i i'm lost words already thirty thousand golden birds is quite a lot of money that's 165 us you know plus your 66 so you're already looking at a stupid amount of money <laughs> Is, is bloody for, for all for some virtual pixels the only way that this vehicle lineup could be worse would be if i was to add the e100 the mouse and, and maybe a couple of the other king tigers to it but they wouldn't really be you know the, the mouse's value is really its research cost rather than monetary cost because it doesn't come up for for research at all and single-handedly this vehicle alone costs more than the rest of this lineup yeah, 1500 us dollars worth of golden eagles that's more than what i've currently got in my account i i i'm just i'm just a little bit blown away but yes so 
let me know. Do you guys have sixteen hundred dollars uh, for, for one of these vehicles? Do you have three thousand nine hundred US dollars to spend on a, on a four point three German lineup? Let me know in the comments down below. I know this video will rub some people the wrong way. Let me just say that uh, some of these vehicles have been obtained during events. I purchased many of these vehicles myself. Only a handful of them I haven't purchased myself. Uh, and I got given the KV-1B. I must be upfront about that one. And I was also given, I think, the Panzer Felswagen as well. Every other vehicle here I've bought myself so far. And this vehicle I earned in an event. Oh yes, and I also got given this one as, as per, per the crafting event, which happened, uh, as I said, it was a Battlefield Engineer event. This is why a marketplace isn't exactly a viable choice. <laughs> it just shows you that the people are making making decent bank off of things like this. All of these vehicles are great in their own right, but uh, the most useless vehicle in this lineup is definitely this thing. It's not really a grand attacker at all. Why you'd take this into Grand Forces, I wouldn't really know, aside from maybe the novelty factor of, hey, look, I... Uh, I have big guns mounted off to one side, aimed down. Maybe we could use the Night Fighter as a Grand Attacker. But, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. In conclusion, it's fast to say that this is completely and utterly crazy. So crazy, in fact, that is about the end of today's video. I hope the Minecraft hanger makes sense. <laughs> We're talking about crazy products. Uh, may as well just put a Minecraft hanger in the background. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ash. Thank you to the patrons and everyone else who supported the channel recently. I'll see you in the live streams. I, I, I do Twitch every now and then. I've been trying to stream daily recently. And we also have been trying to do videos uh, daily as well. But uh, oh, it, it's hard work. And doing War Thunder for eight years is a bit of a strain. Which is why I'm making a video like this. Because it's easy not to have to show off uh, any gameplay. Thanks for watching. Love your faces. And I'll catch you next time.